Hey guys, Zach the Fox is back for another review, yay! And once again, I'm with my friend. Hello everyone, Bill and the Firepod Trains here. Um, so like, yeah, hello everyone. I'm very excited to be back again. For the third time. So yeah. And today. Is that good enough of an introduction? <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that's going that's going in the video. Okay. And today we are actually never doing MLP content. Thank God. Because again, I am not a brony. But today we're reviewing the nineteen ninety Timothy movie, the original, the classic. Um. What? I, I love you cut out there. Okay, so um. Spoiler warning, probably, maybe, I don't, I don't even know anymore. Spoiler warning for a 30 year old movie. Yeah, but still, I, I don't put it in, people probably get pissed off, it's the internet, so. Yeah. Let's start! Yeah! The story! So, like, so the story, I'm just gonna do a brief, brief summary of it. So basically. The crime wave is high. Mugging's mysterious. All police and detective are furious. <laughs> so like, there's this. So there's this news reporter, right? April O'Neil. She Ew. sees a rat. Cool, right? <laughs> and then like, she gets mugged. But then out of nowhere, these guys just are like, come out of nowhere. <laughs> and then one of them throws something at a light. And then they just fight fight the crooks and they, and they have a, still don't know how they didn't hit april by mistake all right so then like um we we then we hear a silent very silent damn <laughs> and then the movie. i love how you, i love how you got like pointed out like that's so important just like it's like damn Dude, are you, are you gonna go to the whole movie? Dude, are, are you gonna go to the whole movie? Hell yeah, I am. This is, this, this is nostalgic. Like, we don't do that here. Cool, I don't care. We do that some way. So we gotta keep these soul for my store for the sake of my storage. Alright, so then, like, we see the turtles. Then they go, like, to Splinter. Yo, we just had our first fight. And then Splinter gives them a lecture how, like, yo, I'm gonna die soon. And then, like, Michelangelo, to take his mind off it, decides to order drugs. I mean pizza. Pizza. And then he, like, and, then, and then Donatello joins him and they start, start smoking. Um. And then they start dancing. <laughs> no, they don't. They, they, they all smoke. They do, they, they, do, they do dance, though. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, they do dance, actually. Oh, no, is that, oh, is that the second film? No, that's the first film. Yeah, that's the first film. Then the then like Raph goes out to like see a movie or something. I think it's probably like it's probably like E. T. What when did E. T. come out? I don't think that was nineteen ninety. I think you're way off of that. Well, uh, I don't I don't even know. <laughs> uh, so uh, blah, 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 blah. then like um we we cut to like um. Like Donatello, Mike having a talk in the sewers. Yeah, again, talk again, again they thought they thought like Text. I said earlier, they smoke, and just like, yo, Splinter's gonna die soon. Pizza dude's got thirty seconds. Mm -hmm. Then the pizza guy comes along. We get the most famous scene in the entire movie, and then like, um, then we cut to Raph doing some drugs and then like and then like he um i i i, I thought the, I, I thought the more famous light scene where he goes he goes damn i, I thought that the more famous scene. Uh, that too but like um he he this is like thugs that seal a purse for some reason Raph trips them over they run away and then like casey jones actually smacks the hell out of them I don't know how they're not dead, but <laughs> it's a kid's movie. 
Yes, then, kid. like, Raph comes along, gets beaten up by Casey, yells damn a couple times more. DAMN! And then, like... And then, like, yeah, he, co he goes back, gets lectured by Splinter. Then, yeah, then boring stuff happens with April. And then, like, she gets mugged in the subway again. Then Raph takes her back to his his home. Then, like, um, they, she meets the Turtles. Then she's like, yo, you guys want to come to my place? And then they go, yeah. Then they have a talk, almost kill April because of a bad joke. And then they, and then they go back home. They find Splinter is gone. He he's he's gone. And that the home's like kind of like the swide too, like what? Yeah, they have no home. And Raphael, they're homeless. And Raphael is fucking pissed. He is though. At the kid, at the kid, at the kid, that scene scared me. Honestly, I could see why, <laughs> but like, then we like cut to the turtles crashing at April's place for the night because they got drunk. And then, like, um, okay, okay, dude, can we take this seriously? Like, actually, like, no more drugs, like, actually seriously. Okay, then, like, then, like, um, then the, then her boss comes, like, to her place. Then, like, all the turtles hide in, like, a second. Somehow. And they have the worst hiding spots, like, ever. <laughs> and they're not found somehow, I don't think. <laughs> like, they're... no. No, no, the, the kid, the kid sees Michelangelo under the table, but when he turns back around, he's just gone. And he doesn't question it, like, he just... He's just like, there's a giant turtle in your home. Steals some of April's money, then we go to, like, the, um... Oh, yeah, he's the kid, then, like, some... Oh, yeah, he's the kid, like, the Foot Clan, um, gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, like, um, the boss leaves... Then we cut to like night or something. I don't remember. Um, then we go see the Foot Clan's lair. Then they get then like. Okay. They have okay. All sorts of things. Okay, dude. We 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 we, we 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 have to speed this up. So she's Fredo. Um, Splinter is all tied up and stuff like he like captured. Yeah. Um, and then and next day I think the next day. Um, the first fight's April. Well, yeah. Okay, so they fight Raphael first. Um, who's just out being Raphael, I guess. He gets his fucking yeah. ass kicked. Yeah, and then they find April's apartment and they have like a fight there, causing the, the apartment to like burn down. Like there were like a fire start. Okay, so like one of the foot soldiers like hit one of like a telephone or something. Something electrical with an axe and sparks hit the paper. Yeah, then there was a fire yeah. started. So then they then the house yeah. So down. then they escaped to like I think in, like, a, like a house in the country. Like April's yeah. house from when she was a kid. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Then then she like then like after a while Raphael wakes up. Everyone's happy. Yeah, but Leo and Raph argue and because that's what they do best. They argue. Yeah, they argue. Then, like, um... Then, like, they do some training. Yeah, and we get a really, really good, like, emotional scene. Where, like, they have a, around, like, a campfire. Like, with, like, Squid. Let's gather around the campfire. Okay, no, I, I seriously, like... We get, like, we, like we get, like, a really good emotional, emotional scene. With them, like, around the campfire. So, something I want to point out is, um, this is just something. So, uh, one thing. Michelangelo was actually supposed to take Raphael's yeah. place, being pissed all the time. Okay. Also, why not? also, one quick thing. Any, any jokes earlier about drugs or smoking that they did, they, that, that did not happen in the movie? We, we, we were, he was joking. Like, let me make that clear. Yeah. Then, like, um, then, like, we get some stuff with April and Casey. Then we, like, then, like, the turtles are like, guys, it's time to go back. Then we get this amazing scene of, like, them coming.
coming back in the rain in like the old truck and then like they go back into their sewer home they get they get ambushed pretty quickly of course then Danny Danny who was the kid yeah the kid was in the foot earlier, foot clan the foot the foot clan he like he was been staying there yeah cuz why not right and then like he um he is, he leaves. So Casey, being Do, the absolute doesn't like, he is, like follows him. Doesn't Sprinter like talk to like Danny at like one point? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He talks to him. Then like Casey follows Danny to go to the Foot Clan lair. Casey beats up someone to get their costume. Then and, oh. they find Splinter and help him. Okay. Then... Then Tatsu, who's aka the bald guy in Shredder's yes. second in command, yes. basically gets his ass kicked by a golf club. No, yeah. that is not a joke. I know, of course he does. Would be logic. Then, like, then they have like this big lecture to the Foot Clan about how this is not family. This is America. And and it does like, no- then, like and it does nothing because they're evil. Yeah. Then they all like go to jail anyway, so who cares? And then time with the Turtles like, versus Sweddle, where the Turtles get their ass kicked, to, ass kicked. Yeah. Then, like, then, yeah, um, they have a big fight with Shredder, um, Splinter helps them at the end. Yeah, Shredder, and dro- then Shredder falls into a yeah, truck, yeah, Spr- and yeah, dies. Spr- yeah, and then, like, Casey, like, turn on, like, the, like, crosses him in, like, the garbage truck. Just, like, oops. The fucking man goes, Oops, and actual kill someone. Well, well, Casey, well, hell. well, okay, spoiler alert for the sequel, he's not dead. He's not dead. Okay. He alive. Yeah. With a ref- reference in the Academy Award winning Spectacular 2012 show, um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now it's on to the characters yeah, now. Yeah, we, we got heard this stuff, that took way too long things do <laughs> all right i'm pretty sure you know already the turtles yeah but i think yeah i, can't we... I think the character who goes from the biggest development from the beginning to the end is Raphael. Uh, of course of course of course yeah of course like obviously obviously then we have other characters like danny who you just want to punch him in the face. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. In this kid. movie, Shredder's kind of pathetic. I mean, I mean, beat the, I mean, beat the, kick the turtle's asses, but Shredder's kicking him out, like, easily. Like, he's kind of a, he kind, he's kind of pathetic in this. Imagine losing to a rat. Could you imagine? Like, he literally just get, like, thrown, like, off the roof. Like, he, like, it doesn't put like, a fight or anything with Splinter. <laughs> yeah, he just charges at him and then dies. Yeah, like, he's kind of pathetic, honestly. <laughs> Rather anticlimactic. Yes. Alright, so is that it for the characters? Yeah, we don't have to say that. Like, if you, like, you know them, you love them. Usually, maybe. Yeah. Like. So. The now, costumes. Oh my, the costumes are, are so, 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 they still hold up so well today. They still hold up so well. Oh, no, no, uh, like, in the actual movie, it still holds up, like, so well. Like, yeah. Because we have the legendary, the one, the only, legendary Jim Henson, a.k.a. the Muppet Guy. Yeah, his company, like, helped with, like, the costumes for this. And also, the second film, I believe. Yeah, it's the second film. The second film, yeah. The third film, and um, the third film, we'll, 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 we'll get to that one film. day. <laughs> so. So, yeah, so the costumes look so great. Like, not just, like, like, in, like, dialogue scenes, but also, like, the action scenes, too. They look really good. Yeah, they do. The main reason why is because, you know... Something I find really interesting is that they have different actors talking inside the suits when the mouths are supposed to move. Yes. Maybe that's why the voices in the trailer sound so different. Yeah. And I didn't have to have, like, I didn't have to have, like, like different guys for, like, the action scene. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, 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 Leonardo, like, stunt performed, like, like, a role in, like, the sequel. No, that was Donatello. 
to tell her. What did I, th I thought I was leaving all those. Ah, uh, could have been one of the two. Hey, one of the two. I know one of the Central Pumas got me more in the next movie. And he's, and he's Kino in the second movie, yeah, but, so yeah, yeah we'll get, cool, we'll get, right? Yeah, we'll get to that in, in, in a sequel. Uh, let's go to the soundtrack. We'll that. The soundtrack is absolutely amazing. Yes. Something I only realized until a couple days ago is that the song that they use for the trailer is Blue Dan Oop. I don't know how you pronounce it. Good job. But it's like an instrumental of a song from 1989. I don't know, but I know it's an instrumental of a song. Okay. Yeah, the, the, so, yeah. Yeah, the, the music is really good. I don't have much to say about it. Something I find really funny is that um, the, the guy who worked on the music for the first three movies actually worked on music for a nursery rhymes VHS. Which I find funny to me. Oh my god. How do you go from nursery rhymes to this? Who knows? However you do it, you're amazing. Oh my god. Um, so, um, again. Other stuff. Yeah, um, real quick, I'll say that the acting, again, the acting scenes are really, really good. They are though. It had to be. It had to be like so difficult. Like the like the, the costumes are probably like so heavy and stuff. Like it had to be like so difficult for like the stunt actors. Okay. So maybe if Zach finds some footage of it, I don't know. Maybe he'll put it up on screen or something. I don't maybe. know if he finds some. But like, they have these giant wires going from the back of the turtle head into like the shell. Right? Is that like and ventilation? The There's a bunch of mechanical stuff in it. Yeah. That's probably where the weight was. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably get like, like like behind the scenes stuff probably. How someone didn't break their neck, I don't know. Yeah, who knows? They probably used lighter versions of the suits, which is what they did for throwing Raphael through the roof. <laughs> Because he's very, very squishy. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, but except for the acting, I don't really have anything else. The voice acting. I mean, the voice acting. At least for the turtles, at least. The voice acting for the turtles is amazing. Yes, it is. And, and for the legendary Splinter, we have Kevin Clash, who used to be Elmo. Wait, oh, yeah, actually. But, um, times... Times have changed. Yes. Okay. If you know, you know. I don't know, but I'll, 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 I don't think I want to, so let's move on. So. So overall opinions and ratings. Right, who's, who's doing their rating first? I think for the reviews, we do like you first and then me. I did, I did how I go for the reviews. My, my cat is still at me. Hello, Tiger. Hello. Hi, Tiger. Okay, yeah, I think, I think you'll go first and then I go. Okay, my, my rating for the movie. Well, I don't get well, My overall opinion, yes. my overall opinion on the movie, it's fantastic. Puppets, amazing. Story, could use a bit of work, but it's still pretty good. Um, the characters, spot on. Costumes, great. Soundtrack, amazing. Um, yeah, so my rating is 10 out of 10. Best movie I've ever seen, like, ever. Okay, now my turn. So, it's a, it's a really great movie. Like, really, really great. Um... It's, it's been a few months since I've watched it. So, I'm trying to thank you. Um, yeah. Story, pretty good. Characters are great. The costumes are great. Soundtrack's great. Uh, the accent's great. The humor... The humor is fantastic. Like, la like, la like Raphael yelling, like Raphael yelling, damn, it's peak com comedy, and yeah, nothing ever top it. Wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's a masterpiece like he does. Okay, he he's like a big Timothy. I mean, I am too, but like he's like a really big Timothy fan. 
But I would get Yeah. But I would, uh, like I wouldn't give it a ten, but I would honestly so I would give it like a nine out of ten, which is still really good. Still really good. With like nines, with nines are still really good. So like I just wanna say something. When I watch Spider Man No Way Home, it's a good movie. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but like my brother said, How's it not your favorite? It's amazing. I turned to him and said, Bruh, nothing and I mean nothing can be practical effects. That is like, true though. Real life. That is true. Anyways, so, uh, uh, anyways, um, so that's your cue. So, yeah. Oh, so so I say my final words. <laughs> that's your cue. All right. So um, yeah. Um, go subscribe to me on YouTube again. Again, he he, again, he, he, know, he needs the money for the uh, the plushies, the the, the life size plushie. Look. I'm just saying, look, I have other, look, my waifu, I'm just saying, is pretty much better than yours, hot take I know, get fucked. <laughs> wait, 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 like that, no. I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna head out. Okay, so that's my cue. This, <laughs> yeah, do, go subscribe to his channel. It'll be in the description. Again, he, he needs the money for his waifu Twilight, for his life size plushie of Twilight. Um, he needs it badly. Um, subscribe to my channel also, and like, comment. I mean, I mean not comment. Um, turn on notifications, and um, yeah, again, his channel will be linked in the description below. And, um, that's all. Mm-hmm. Also, the, the whole money thing, that, that's a joke. Subscriptions do not cost money. Well, YouTube ones, that does not, that, 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 that subscribing is free. Just describe it. Okay, just, so, like, I was gonna, I was gonna reference something about the whole new YouTube situation, but this video has gone on way too long because of our story summary. Because so of your story summary, I'm yeah, you took over. It. Yeah. Okay, again. So, just, just not gonna, not gonna reference it. Okay. Because this video is going on way too long yes. as it is. Yes, yes. Again, the recording's going off like 24 minutes now. The video probably like 21 minutes, so. Hey, at least it's not as long as our new generation review. Yeah, thankfully. Uh, so, I'll see you all next review, which... Who knows what that'd be? I don't know if we do the sequels right away, but um. Like, maybe we'll review something like Thomas related or something. Like, I, mean, I was gonna be like Thomas about like railroad. Like, no. Or maybe. No. no. I don't know. There's a lot, there's a lot maybe we could review like a fan film or something. I don't know. A fan. Oh, that'd be interesting. Actually, a fan film instead. The Magic Rebel parody. There we go. Okay. No. No. Fuck that. I'm saying it's. I'm not saying it's bad. Yeah. yeah um, please, please, explain. Please explain. Before we get mad, you please explain. So like, there's a lot of stuff happening in that parody. I know it's trying to be like the director's cut of the movie, but with more adult themes. It just comes off as fucking stupid. Like, who the hell at that team thought? Yes, M Junior is Mr. Conductor, S son, which, and it's, which makes a lot of questions, you know? Don't forget, this is the guy who hates Encanto, which, I mean, so I don't listen to him at all. Bro, but like, you know, it's still good, but it just tries too hard to be edgy with all the drugs, violence, well, swearing... What's that I hear? You guess if Hans Pan's breaking down his door to capture him or something because of his opinions. Shit, they're here. Oh, <laughs> uh, we gotta go now. Bye, guys. Bye. Ah! Bye.